Hi guys, hello and welcome to Sota in a Pod. Sota in a Pod is a podcast where we talk about all things fashion, all things lifestyle. And of course, we do that in the most relatable way. This episode is brought to you by House of Sota, which by the way, um, they made this very lovely outfit I'm wearing. Yeah, do well to check them out on Instagram. They are House of Sota. Sota is spelled S-O-T-A. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, today promises to be so much fun as we have a lot of things lined up for your enjoyment. We're just here to have fun, educate ourselves, nothing serious, you know. <clears throat> and with me in the studio today are two amazing guests. You know, they're icon in the fashion industry. Yes, if I say so myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, the icon in the fashion industry. And um, we'll be talking about, I forgot to introduce myself. Oh, my name is Kezia. Well, look at me. Yeah, I'm Kezia. Okay, and I'll be your delectable guest today. Yeah, so back to my guest. <laughs> yeah, my first guest is a renowned stylist. Yeah, I mean, like this guy, he has worked with the biggest name in the industry. When I say biggest name, take it from me. If I was the bad guy, Joe Boy, TJ Omori. Um, I, I could go on and on. We'll not leave here today. So I'm just going to cut it there. But then, believe me when I say that, he knows his job. He knows his onion. So join me as I welcome Michael Oh, DC. Yeah, <laughs> I made sure that I really pronounced his name well because <laughs> off air was telling me you have to pronounce my name. He's not all DC. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, and the second guest is an international model. Okay. Yeah, she's had the privilege of working <laughs> with Ortega, Alexander McQueen. She's worked with uh, LFD Fashion Week, Las Lagos Fashion and Design Week in Nigeria. And uh, she's worked with GT Bank. If you're in Nigeria, if you're in Lagos, you you will know what we're talking about. So she's done really well for herself. She's traveled pretty much international. Join me as I welcome Oluwa Tobi Oloko. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, you Kezia. I'm excited. Thank you so here. much for coming. Don't worry, you guys, relax. We're just here to have fun, you know, and discuss our topic. Today's topic is it's fun, actually. I think I like it. It's about um fashion, right? So what do you think? Fashion these days, you think people are being expressive or they're just being borderline crazy because... I personally feel like some people they need help, but they're just adding under the guise of it's fashion. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna call names, but there is this big name in the industry, in the old white world. <laughs> I mean, that this guy's really popular. And he's yes, bipolar disorder. But this guy will come out and do stuff and wear big shoes like size 68. You know, and then people are just like, oh my god, he's expressing himself. Others are like, no, this guy is going crazy. So what would, you, what would you guys think? And I mean, I'm going to give another instance. See, Ashake, shout out to Ashake, by the way. I love his music. <laughs> shout out. I mean, Ashake, I saw Ashake on one of his shows or one, was he a music video where he wore a skirt, like a denim skirt, and he wore it as a blouse. Is that your very stylist? What do you I mean? I, so by the way, I love that. I don't know. Maybe because I have special, Ashake has a special place in my heart. But what do you think, Dario? Like, do you think he's... I think about Ashake right now. No, like fashion in general. Do you think people are just going crazy or like they're being expressive because it has evolved over the years look at you now is a is an example is a tip yes. green yes. and yeah. is this turquoise or what yeah, it's blue it's oh, blue okay so you, what do you think um they say every genius has a bit of madness okay yeah, yeah. um over time people always push the ball out of people i think we started to get there with nigeria a little older so it's not craziness. Sometimes we go over the top, but the idea is it's fashion. I mean, that's, that's how it makes it. But fashion then again, how you tell the world how you feel, what you want to sound like, how do you want people to judge you without even talking to you? It's people expressing themselves, basically. So, but then again, I, I'm not going to be on any side because at the same time, fashion, I feel like fashion is anything you want it to be. So, fashion can be, because I mean, back then, our parents. Our parents, like by olden days, mm -hmm. basically, we have them wearing boot cuts, mm -hmm. really, and then we'll be saying it stuff shows. like, "Were these the things that they used to pull my mother? <laughs> like, are these what? Well, what's what's this? Like, and then all these things are coming back. But I feel like fashion is anything you want it to be. Like, exactly, uh, it can be exhibited. As yes, like different forms. Yes, but then because I feel like because we're Africans, we're a bit like, mm. but that's why a white man will look at what we do and they're like. What is happening to these people? Why are they dressed like masquerade? I don't know if that makes sense. So, what yeah. do you think? Well, for me, I think fashion is, I mean, people are just being very expressive with fashion. I wouldn't call it crazy. I mean, 
even though we may look crazy, we look extremely crazy doing that, but I think it's just being expressive. We're just expressing, you know, how we feel basically with fashion, you know. Okay, like so I'm said, going to counter you now. You say well, we're just expressing. How come there are some things that are fashionably acceptable? And they will say, oh, what if I say I'm feeling not to express myself? It's stylish to tell me, ah, no, don't do that. Like, you're not supposed to pair this up with this and stuff. But what if I say I'm feeling? I want to express yeah. myself like that. Who are you, stylish, to tell me that? Can I, since we're saying that people are, uh, uh, every genius yeah. has a bit of madness. Okay, I want to be mad, and that's what I want to do. Like, what do we do then? Like, what do you say since we yeah. are expressing ourselves? For a look to look like we were well put together, there were three things that I thought. Um, the fabric, right. uh, the texture, right. and then um, the fit. Right. It might be crazy, but the fit doesn't look good on you. It might be crazy, but the texture of the fabric doesn't look good on you. You might have to do something crazy. It's just how uh, a denim would fall different from the way silk would fall. Right. You know, what we for a look to look like we were well put together there were three things that I thought um the fabric right uh, the texture right. and then um the fit right it might be crazy but the fit doesn't look good on you it might be crazy but the texture of the fabric doesn't look good on you you might have to do something crazy it's just how uh, a denim would fall different from the way silk would fall oh. you know, what we play around silver to play around for silk is different from what we play around for denim so most times, um, if you are doing something that is right to the wrong fabric or the wrong type of garment, it might not work. Okay, then. Hmm. That's only the location. Well. The location stick. I mean, what do you think, Toby? I think it's just the mindset. Like, it's right. A, it's a state of mind, basically. So you dress how um, you want to be perceived or how you just like to... Uh, just like to look. I don't know if, if that okay. makes sense. I think so, I understand. What I mean, think. you can look crazy. Not uh -huh. everybody has to accept. Not everybody accepts how everyone dresses in the world, right? People dress crazy. Kanye West is an example. He dresses, however, I've not like, mentioned Nemo. Insanely <laughs> crazy, but man, like he rocks it on a daily. Like he's he everywhere. He's it. just who he is, right? So I think it's just a, it's a mindset, and you know about our personality as, as well. So. Like me now, I don't like I don't like to do too much. So you mean subtly, minimalist. you know, subtly but still expressive in a way like chic. You know, I'm saying something like you're like okay, or like me that likes so, drama, yeah. or like so, me that yeah. likes drama. You know, everybody just has their own, you know, styles. And I have couple people, and I feel like like what you said is an expression of how uh, you're feeling, and you said so as well, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say Lady Gaga, let's take Lady Gaga now. Then Lady Gaga started dressing up. Like we were thinking she was mad. Like she would literally wear anything she feels like and at first people didn't really like it but she didn't care right like i mean I, I i literally used to look forward to watching her music i might not like the song but i'm like i know there's something to watch in lady gaga's video there's always something to look out for but the time to be fair i'm always like this girl she's she, she's okay but i look at doja cat doja cat is doing the same doja cat literally shaved her hair I uh, her hair off or off hey jesus <laughs> she literally took anything out and even her brows too and yeah. she went to, I think, Paris Fashion, Paris or Fashion Week and uh, Milan. And before you know, now, I feel like it's, it's starting to grow on people. I don't know if that makes sense. Definitely. Because after some time, there was a time Lady Gaga did a shoot where she had like cans of uh, cans, um, you see, Coca Cola cans, mm -hmm. and she rolled her hair around it. And fast forward to like some years down the line, people are doing that shoot, those type of shoots. Like you literally see people creating content around it. And I'm like, oh, all these are the things that people didn't think it was really normal. Like, and even Nigeria, we have a lot of people that you can't... There's this um, influencer, like, oh my God, this guy, he does how he feels. But he just still looks good. I don't know if I can mention, like, he, he still, he still looks like a couple of them. So sometimes I'm like, I don't know, is it? I mean, and even brands, so let's talk about brands now. Balenciaga. Yeah, everybody's evolving. Balenciaga, everybody's evolving. Balenciaga, by the way, has always been known for crazy things. Like, Balenciaga, people... I think that's the point they used like is the um what do they call this thing now um, bean bags they did some they made something out of bean bags and they called it a ridiculous price and people were buying yeah. and this is their last shoot I think they did like in a, the thing was like in a muddy environment yeah. like it was the show was in a mud you, yeah it was in a, literally in a mud like <laughs> in a literally mud. in a mud I'm like okay yeah so I think with these brands I mean 
and the century that we're in now, considering where we're at right now, everybody's thinking outside of the box. Fashion is evolving daily. Everything is changing. So where do you draw the line? People are changing. People are doing different things. Even with these brands, mm -hmm. if you see the shows, you know, the shows that, are, that just went by now, like the brands, they all had crazy, insane ideas. You right. know, with the looks to the runway designs, you know, uh, the runway sets to just everything, the production of the shows, like everybody's constantly. So basically that in the pod. So Tiny New Pod is a podcast where we talk about all things fashion, all things lifestyle. And of course, we do that in the most relatable way. This episode is brought to you by House of Suta, which by the way, um, they made this very lovely outfit I'm wearing. 